Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So firstly, I did wake up like 10 minutes ago. I fell asleep with my makeup on, so if it looks messy or patchy, that is precisely why. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's new in the drugstore haul. So I did pick up most of these things from Ulta, but I did pick up a few things from Walgreens as well. I'll leave everything linked down below if you guys are interested in purchasing anything. First thing that I did pick up is this L'Oreal Micellar Water, and this is for normal to dry skin. Um, they do have different versions for like oily skin and sensitive skin and stuff like that, but I picked this one up. This thing is massive. I really do enjoy um, micellar waters, so I did pick this up and wanted to see how it performs. It doesn't really have much of a smell, but I'll definitely report back to you guys in my follow-up poll and let you guys know what I think about this. So this is the first thing that I did pick up. The next thing that I picked up is from Revlon, and this was so interesting to me. This was just random. This is the professional blending brush. So What's cool about this, it's kind of like, it looks like a brush, but there's like a sponge on top and it comes with two little sponges. I did want to test this out and see how this performs, if it's comparable to the Beauty Blender or something similar to that, because if it is, then it would be so simple to use, you know? So I'm really excited to test this out. I'll keep you guys posted on my thoughts in my follow-up haul. The next thing I picked up is this Maybelline Dream Cushion Liquid uh, Foundation. And this is beautiful. There are eight shades in the line. I picked mine up in the shade 20, which is the second to lightest shade, and it is a cushion foundation. You basically just open it up like that. There's a mirror, then there's a little puff thing here that you can apply your foundation with. Then there's a little like cover that covers the actual cushion, and then we have the cushion. So that's how it looks. So far, so good. I've been testing this out for a while, and I really, really do enjoy it. I think it gives a really nice finish on the skin. A little bit pricey for a drugstore, but I think Amazon has a really good deal on this. The next thing I picked up is from Maybelline as well. This is the 24K Nudes Palette. So Maybelline does release such palettes occasionally, and I, I've used them in the past. I was never really into them, and they kind of suck. But this particular one kind of like... I don't know, caught my attention. I really, really do love these shades, and I especially love this gold right over here, and that's pretty much what attracted me to this whole thing. I've used it like once or twice, and so far, not bad at all. I want to test it out a little bit more before I give you guys my final thoughts, but I thought this was beautiful, and a very affordable palette, and not bad quality. You know what I'm saying? So, I'll keep you guys posted in regards to what I think about it, but this is the next new thing that has been released. The next thing that I did pick up is this Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. So, this really intrigued me because I really do enjoy setting sprays. I have two from the drugstore that I absolutely love and I like swear by. And I wanted to see if this one kind of like performs the same as those. This was a little bit pricey, it was around 10 bucks, and you only get um, 2.3 fluid ounces, so not too, too much at all, but if it's good, then I feel like it'll be worth it. So that's the next thing that has released. And then I picked up this L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Full Coverage Weightless Con not Concealer Foundation. Um, I picked mine up in the shade 302. I haven't played around with this yet, but I've been swatching it, and it feels pretty thick, I would say. I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews on this, so let me know if you guys want to see a first impression on this or like a foundation application kind of video demo thing, and I can definitely do that for you guys. So that's the next thing that has been released. And then I picked up this powder from CoverGirl. This is the Outlast All Day Matte Finishing Powder. Look how pretty the packaging is. I think it's so, so cute. Um, you just pop this cover open and that's how the powder looks just like that so and there's like a little pad in the back hopefully it's going to be nice on the skin i did pick up mine in the shade fair to light so hopefully it's going to match me and look nice and flawless on i'll keep you guys posted so i'm really excited about that i really really love face powders like i'm obsessed with it like i feel like it changes everything all right the next thing that has released to the drugstore is this maybelline master blush and highlight palette so this really intrigued me because i don't have any like um drugstore blush and highlighting palettes and i felt like this would be so essential for like a certain look like an affordable drugstore look or like to travel with and it's so affordable you know so on this side you have a one highlighter and then these are three blushes that you get i really do love the tones of the blushes especially this one Oh my god. So I'm so excited about this. And this is really, really nice quality. I really I love the packaging. I think it's so beautiful. Then I did pick up this Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I've heard so many things about this. This is not necessarily new to the drugstore, but it's new to me. And I'm really excited to test this out and see how this performs because it's so affordable. And if it works nice, then it's like you want a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? It feels really nice. And... I think it'll be great for setting like the under eye area. So 
I'll test this out and let you guys know what's up. Then the next thing that I did pick up is this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Frame and Set um, Eyebrow Set. So you do get like a pomade here and a brush and I picked mine up in the shade Warm Brunette and this is like my perfect shade of life. I'm wearing it on my brows today and I really really do enjoy the actual like uh, consistency of the actual pomade. It blended in really nicely so I'm very impressed but I've tried it only one time. I'm still going to let you guys know what I think about it. I love the packaging though. Like I love how the drugs are like stepping up their game. Um, this is how the inside looks. Just like that. Nothing too, too special, but really cool that it comes from the drugstore. And then it comes with a little uh, duo-sided brush. So you have your spoolie on one side, and then you have your angled brush on the other side, which is pretty good, actually. I did not expect this to be as awesome as it is. So that's the next thing that I did pick up from Ulta. Then I picked up two of these e.l.f. cleansing cloths. These are not anything new, but if you haven't tried these, these are really, really good to remove like swatches with and stuff like that. I do know people like to use this for their face. I personally don't, but if you need something just to have around, these are great. Next thing that I did pick up is from Neutrogena, and this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Treatment with Hyaluronic Acid. So, this is how this little guy looks, and I was dying to try this because this was so expensive for a, like, a lip balm. It was $8. What was I even thinking when I put it in my cart? Anyway, I forgot that I took it, and then I looked back at my orders online, and I saw that I purchased it, and I'm like, what the hell? So I'm like, whatever, let's see how it performs when I get it, I guess. So this is how the inside looks. And I had to try it out when I got it because I'm like, is this worth it, $8 or not? Oh my god. Wow. And I'll leave it at that. So I'll let you guys know in my follow-up poll what I think about this. The next thing that I have here is this Rice Brightening Facial Cleansing Tissues. So look at this big-ass package of cleansing like clothes. Um, I picked this up because Young Wild and Polish and her friend Erin always, always speak about these and I'm just like, I need to see what these are about. So I don't know if they're new to the actual makeup world, like drugstore, but um, it's new to me and I feel like a ton of people don't know about this. So this was like, I think $11 and you get 80 in here. It's so worth it if it's good. So I'll test this out and see how it performs and all the like writing is in Japanese or Chinese. So yeah. All right, the next thing I have is this CoverGirl Outlast um, Soft Touch concealer and I picked mine up in the shade fair so this is how the concealer looks I think it's really really cute and it really attracted me the actual package um, I love concealers so I wanted to see how this performs and hopefully it's going to be beautiful on the skin to brighten and hopefully hopefully to cover up um, blemishes as well I will keep you guys posted the next thing that I did pick up is from Academia and this is the weightless moisture leave-in conditioner I was looking for a good leave-in conditioner but I didn't realize that this is more of like a mist I wanted the actual like conditioner like you know what I mean like the consistency of a conditioner if you guys have any recommendations let me know I tried this once and I just don't know if I'm about it so that's the next thing that I did pick up it's not new but I'm sure it's new to many of you guys the next thing that I did pick up is this Maybelline concealer and this is the Maybelline dream brightening creamy concealer in the shade fair so this is how it looks I love the fact that it's retractable I think it's really really easy to use and I think it's gonna be really really nice the last and final products that I did pick up and recently just released to the drugstore are these new Maybelline lip liners so as you guys know or hopefully you guys know I do love doing lip swatch videos I really enjoy it and I think it's one of my favorite videos to film so these recently released and I'm like I don't think I've ever done a video with like lip liner, like swatches. So I picked up all shades. There are 12 shades in the line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 shades in the line. Hopefully there are no duplicates here. And I'm going to be doing a lip swatch video for you guys on these and test them out and let you guys know how they perform. So I'm really excited. I think that they'll be awesome. So that's pretty much everything I picked up from the drugstore and pretty much most of the newest things that just released. At the drugstore um, also before you guys close the video let me know if you guys want to see any specific video for each for like a product like let's say you want to see a separate video on this you can let me know below or like let's say the covergirl concealer and powder let me know if you guys want to see a specific separate video besides for my follow-up haul besides for that i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think about all these new products and if you guys picked up anything and if you love them or if you hate them and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye